Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Astro Trash by the OP, or USAopoly. It plays three to five players, takes about 20 to 30 minutes to play, and is for ages, oh, I don't know, what's it say on here? Six and up, that's probably about right. In the game, Astro Trash, you're going to have trash on your planet, and you need to get, get rid of it. If you can get rid of it by putting it on other players' planets or throwing it off into the sun, that is what you need to do. You'll be rolling die and using it in a dexterous way, in which you're going to be rolling as fast as you can to remove as many pieces as possible as fast as possible and if you can get rid of all your trash before anybody else you're going to win there's trophies in the game and per round you're going to gain one trophy and if you get a certain amount of trophies depending on the number of players you play you're going to win the game it's simple it's fun it's cute let's go ahead and take a look down below and see if it's right for you so here we have the game astro trash and i went ahead and set it up for five players and in order to do so all you're going to do is give every single player a planet and then give every single player a random assortment of trash and these little Little plastic tokens are going to be your trash symbols for the game. They come in different colors, shapes, and sizes, and every player that is playing in a five player game will get 10, but depending on the number of players that will change. In a three player there's 16, and in a four player there's 12 pieces per planet. Once you've got your trash and your planet, you're going to get a three simple die, and the die are all going to be very different. One is color, one is number, and one is directional. In which case, when you roll them, you're going to then assign them. So this one says you can place two of the yellow suns and you moving them to the right in which case you will take at least two up to two and place them to the right however if it was l it would be to the left if it was question mark you could put it left right or in the sun and then finally there's the sun which puts it in the middle there these symbols here are going to be yellow red purple blue green and pink and then this is going to either be one two or three depending on what you roll this game is a dexterous game in which you're going to be rolling as fast as you can to get the best combinations possible and when you get the combination that you're able to utilize you'll move your pieces onto the boards based on where it says these over here are your trophies and when you remove all the trash from your planet that's going to end the round and you're going to score a trophy and if you get a certain amount you win the game this is the sun when pieces go to the sun they do not come back they basically burn up but when pieces go to your board you're going to have to move them off of your board everybody plays at the same time and can roll as fast as they possibly can to move the pieces off as best as they possibly can you're going to do this one two three and when somebody says three or astro trash you're going to then all roll and you'll be rolling as quick as you can okay i got a pink i have one i can post it put it in the sun okay i'm going to roll again uh this is green two of them and i can put them anywhere i want so maybe i'll put them over here okay this one here is green again i can't use that one that is going to be purple i can't use that because it's not here oh uh, there's two suns to the right i have one so i can place it over here roll again let's say that this one got blue and let's say this was three i can make blue go three times to my right and then finally the last one is going to be red so if i rolled this red three red to the sun that would empty my board and i would win this specific round now it's obviously not that easy because players are going to be placing things on your board as well when they are rolling the die at the same time as you are so some players are going to be faster than others obviously in this game six seven eight nine and then one more here's ten but if you did win the round and you removed all the trash from your planet you're simply going to reset shuffle these all up and then deal all these tokens out again depending on the number of players and then one two three you go again everybody's gonna be rolling die as fast as they possibly can it's a simple game that's similar to left right and center i believe is what the other game is called but this one here has a little bit more of a dynamic to it has all the different trash tokens and of course the sun that's going to eat up the pieces the game is going to be very fast and very quick and that's pretty much the idea of the game it's simple and it has some really unique mechanics let's come up and discuss Astro Trash and whether or not you should pick it up or simply throw it into the sun. So let's talk about Astro Trash. And the first thing I want to say is some caveats and or variants to play. When you're playing with younger kids, if you want, you can simply take away the color die and just use the directional and numeral die to move trash of any type anywhere they uh, anywhere it tells them to roll. So when you roll, it gets a two and an R. You simply take two of any of the trash and move it to the right. Makes it a little simpler. It also has the other rule, which is start kids with two less pieces of trash. And whenever they do not win a round, they get to simply remove one from the game every round 
around, making it easier and easier for them to have a chance. That way you can play with young ones and old ones, and it kind of all works out. But for the most part, I think most kids uh, are going to understand this game fairly quickly, fairly easily. I think six is a reasonable number for the game. Uh, the game's quality and components is solid. It's got some really nice, thick player planets. These things are going to stand the test of time. They are probably as nice as... Ooh, nice, cool breeze. Probably nice as... Uh, maybe a cosmic encounter as far as the quality of the player boards go. The pieces of trash are cute and friendly and fun. There's a bunch of different colors and they're easy to tell uh, apart. Even if you're colorblind, it's easy to see which ones go with which. Even the die will show the different symbols and all the die are nice etched die. They feel good in the hand and they're easy to roll. I'd prefer probably a bigger die, but I like them as they are. The sun is nice and big and you're basically gonna be tossing these things everywhere. Of course, this being a crazy dexterity game, pieces might be falling on the floor and die and stuff so that could be a potential negative make sure you play on a space that is big enough wide enough for players to be rolling and chucking things you're going to also have these little trophies which are basically just little flying trash spaceship pieces which will give you a point for every round that you win and depending on the number of players and how many rounds you need it tells you in the rules uh, first of three pieces of trash is the winner. Additionally, it says one, two, three, ditch it. That's how you start the game. I just said one, two, three, and you can obviously come up with your own countdown timer for the game Astro Trash. Uh, it's fun. This game is definitely made for a younger audience. It's not an extreme skill-based game, and there's a lot of luck involved. The way you mitigate is how fast you roll and how quick you are to perceive whether you have the colors and or numbers needed to move the trash from your planet to the left, to the right, or into the sun. But nevertheless, we played this live last last week on Wednesday and had a ton of fun playing it. All five players were going at it, moving around. People were excited. It played really well with us and we're all around 30 years old. So you can see that it doesn't really matter how old you are for this game. You're going to enjoy yourself and sit down and play. For me, it feels the same way. Like I'll sit there and go, eh, it's probably not something I'd probably want to play because it's kind of too kiddish, too, too much luck, etc., etc. But then I'd sit down and play it and have a good time every single time I play a game like this. Uh, this one does that for me. It, it, uh, it sparks joy in the inner for my inner child, which is really cool. It's a game I'm definitely going to be keeping. This game I'm going to be keeping for sure because there's going to be a lot of little kids that are going to come over and want to play this game easily. And when you play this game, you're definitely going to want to play more than once, which is why it offers you all the trophies to play up to the person who gets three, especially because it makes you feel a little bit more like you have a chance when you get to play additional ones. The nice rules variants for kids will be cool. I haven't tried those out. Nobody I know is, I think, six or seven anymore. Most of the kids I have play here are probably about 11 to 13 or 14 and up, of course. And I don't think that rule is necessary for them, but I can see why it could be for a younger audience to give them more of a chance when they're rolling die, especially when players are faster as adults rolling the die and perceiving what hits the floor. Overall, good quality components, really cute childish artwork or ch childlike artwork with all the different cute planets. This is called Spaghetti Meatball Planet, at least that's what I call it. And then of course the die are easy to tell the difference between, helps with colorblind, easy to understand play. Uh, my only, I guess, small complaint would probably be the box. I'm not a big fan of these type of boxes that pop open like this. And it just has this like, it has like a semi-cheap kind of feel to the box itself. But I guess that's such a minor qualm because the box is gonna hold up. It's gonna last and it, it does feel like as strong as probably a normal board game box. I just don't like the, the crease inserts in it. If you have kids or if you enjoy just quick, easy dexterity games, Astro Trash is one I'd definitely take a look at. If you're interested, go ahead and take a look down below on the link for USAopoly's Astro Trash. It plays really well. It doesn't matter the number of players. And overall, every time I've played this game, I've had fun. I can see some players who probably wouldn't like it if they're more strategically uh, minded or people who like uh, extreme um, information, so you know 100% information in the game. This one doesn't have that. This is just a simple little pet party game for kids and or adults if you have a little bit of an inner child inside you. Anyway, take a look down below if you're interested. Astro Trash, solid fun little game. I think you guys will like it if you like dexterity games.